<sighs> I'm about to bust. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought this was the bathroom. Oh, good lord! Okay, so hear me out. This may be the last okay slash decent film in the Home Alone series. And the last film to be released in theaters, fun fact enough. Man, time truly does fly by. Anyway, Home Alone 3 isn't that bad of a film. It's not bad enough to be completely unwatchable, yet it's not good enough for it to be memorable. It's just okay. By 97, the formula of Home Alone had kind of gotten old and is shown in the third movie. The only thing that changed for this movie is a whole new kid and thieves. Other than that, it's Home Alone except for a few plot differences. The acting was okay, Alex Mintz was fine for the main kid character. He had a big shoes to fill following Macaulay Culkin's uh, time as Kevin, and he did fine. The bandits were fine as well, they were not memorable as wet bandits though, so you know there's that. The plot was not that memorable either, like I mentioned before, if you put this movie and compare it to the OG films, it's almost a shot for shot remake of it with slightly different aspects and plot points. And lastly, the slapstick comedy was funny. I think the first two movies have better slapstick elements to them, but three has some funny ones too. Not memorable, but funny nonetheless. Home Alone 3 was released on December 12, 1997 on a budget of $32 million. After it was run at the box office, it would go on to gross $79.1 million. Overall, Home Alone 3 manages to be the last gasp of air for the series, managing to bridge the gap from the classic area to the new disaster era. And I'm going to give overall rating of Home Alone 3 a 6 out of 10. Stay tuned for Day 9.